Hey guys, it's Alyssa and I am super happy to introduce you to my friend Lisa who's here from The Well Necessities. Hi. And Lisa's a registered dietitian who agreed to come help me cook in the kitchen today and give us a little bit of tidbits on some dips. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> like you said, I did a great intro. I'm Lisa from The Well Necessities. I have a private practice where I see clients one-on-one, -on -one, and I also have a blog called The Well Necessities where I make everything health, nutrition, wellness pretty much as simple as possible. So one thing that I love about Lisa's recipes is that she's all about five ingredients or less. So we're going to show you some dips and spreads that are super easy to make out of items in your pantry that have five ingredients or less. First one that we're going to make is a really fresh, bright, springy dip. It's a minty pea dip. And we're using frozen organic peas, a quarter cup of mint leaves, half a lemon, two tablespoons of tahini, and a clove of garlic. That's five. Wait, one, two, three, five. Yeah, five. Five. So I love fresh mint because not only does it bring that fresh taste and obviously very bright color, but it actually serves a function in the body. A lot of times you'll see at restaurants that mint is a part of the appetizer. So not only does that clear the palate and get you ready for the main course, but it also begins the digestive process which makes processing the main course a bit easier as well. So you're saying this is gonna be a bomb appetizer because yeah. it cleanses your palate and like tells your body I'm ready to eat. Right, and get working so we can process this effectively. Okay, that's genius. Yeah. Let's blend this up. It's all going in here. Why don't you dump the peas, the mint, the juice of half of a lemon, two tablespoons of tahini, a clove of garlic, and a bit of salt. Okay, we're gonna blend it up. Okay, we have to smell this first because that's like the best part. Oh, that is spring, that is spring. So we have this beautiful platter of some of my favorite radishes that I get down at Union Square at the farmer's market. I was gonna say, we don't have those at Whole Foods. <laughs> well, sometimes I do if they're in season. Yeah. The purple daikon yeah. radish, watermelon radish, beautiful. and green radish. So I love that you chose to pair this with a beautiful crudite but it also is super versatile. You could put it on a crostini. Yeah. That would be really, really good. So good. A little bit of fresh mint to garnish. Yeah. You could also add a little bit of olive oil and turn it into a dressing. That's a great idea. Or even mix it into a pasta as a sauce. Yeah. I never thought of never that. Never thought of that. Yeah, so Wait, just don't Wait, peas, yeah. sauce? But like that, that sounds so good. Textural, yeah. That's so good. Okay, so should we try it? Yeah. What color do you want? She wants watermelon, I want purple. It's, ooh, okay. Okay, cheers. <laughs> that pairs so well with a radish. It's such fresh, like clean flavors. Tahini really brings out like a nice undertone. Right. To the sweet pea. That's totally good. 